When it comes to development, one of the most important parts of working on a team, no matter how small or big it is, is documentation. And today I want to go in and introduce you guys to a service called Swim.io, which is going to help you guys have better documentation for you and your team. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again one more time. So what exactly is Swim.io? So think of this as a service to help you build better documentation for in-house tools and also tool for internal documentation for your team. Now, this is basically based on the idea of continuous documentation made easy, you know, go from poor outdated on helpful documentation to practical focused, no fluff documentation that's always fresh. And I think this right here says pretty much everything about the service. Now, listen, I want to get started with this by actually mentioning the growing pains that most development teams have to go through. First one, which is drowning in complex code. And this usually happens when a company might have multiple languages, like let's say, for example, it could be using PHP for the back end and then using JavaScript on the front end and maybe using different frameworks. You got Laravel and then you also have React. And then from there, you might have another service that's using Python for some machine learning. There's a whole bunch of situations that can make the code feel like this is too complex and there's no resources for us to look at because maybe there's legacy code, right? So that's something that happens a lot. Another very common problem that happens in teams is when you have a knowledge silo. And this is when you basically have a person who is like the go-to guy of the team, or maybe someone who's working on a component or a piece of code that only that person knows how it works and how it actually connects with the whole application, right? And that happens a lot where, you know, you have to, the guys that's doing job security coding, or maybe the guys that maybe came in as a freelancer or a contractor and came in and, and patched something up real quick, or even just, you know, people in general, just working on an application and, you know, no one really knows what they're working on, but it works. But what happens if the guy's not there, right? So that's something that we need to make sure that the documentation is there and that people are able to follow along with whatever it is that anyone is working on. Another thing that is very important when working on a team is getting people on board. This is crucial. You need to have documentation to follow along and help that person get into the team as quickly as possible. Now, if you don't have that, then that's when, you know, we have these problems on a team. Now that we know the growing pains that a development team has to go through when they don't have the right documentation, I want to go in and show you guys Swim.io and how it's actually tackling these problems. One thing that I love about Swim is the fact that, first of all, it's free to get started with, right? No credit card required. So pretty much anybody that wants to try out the service can sign up and try it out. And basically it gives you access to a workspace and you can basically sync a repo. Okay. Now, again, with that, it pretty much gives you access to everything that they have on the platform. Now, what's really cool about this is that to get started with creating that documentation is like super straightforward. So right now we're looking at the workspace right here. This is the one that I have coding face home, right? It has one repository that I connected. Now to create a documentation, all you have to do is click on create. Okay. And from there you can create a blank document. You could have a playlist of documents like this, right? For example, this is like developer onboarding. You could have all of the different uh, type of steps that somebody has to take uh, to go onboarding. You also have uh, create documentation from a, a pull request. You also have templates that you guys can follow along with like for a flow in the code right or maybe components or services you also have other things like uh, incident reports internal apis product requirements uh, research plan testing overview right so they give you a couple of good templates just to get started and you decide which one makes more sense for you you also can upload your own md files 
manually. And then from there, that will also integrate it into your workspace. So this is something that's pretty cool. Also, too, for those of you guys that are using Notion, um, you can basically do the same thing with the Notion Docs. So again, if you're using MD or Markdown files or even you're using Notion, I know some people are loving Notion out there, uh, you can also import them into your uh, Swim account. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, if you take a look over here at this file, we pretty much have so many of the features that come with Swim.io, right? And we can see them in action. So for example, you have things like this, which is keeping track of a specific path in your repo, right? You also have some code snippets over here, right? You also have some of these right here, which are basically token matches, right? Checking for the token, making sure that it's up to date, pretty much checking if the, the code itself is up to date with the documentation, okay? So again, you also have things like this, where it shows you the full path of where the components are located, right? Um, you also have links to the code itself. So when you click on it, it automatically loads everything that has to do with this component. Okay. There's so many different things that you guys can go crazy with when it comes to, you know, swim.io. But again, I'm going to give you guys just a, a quick rundown on most of the things that you have. Like, I mean, you can pretty much integrate your code in your document, writing, engaging cross repository docs, with content components, right? So we've seen the variables, we've seen the tokens, the file folder paths, right? You also have the code snippets. There's this thing called mermaid diagrams, right? That interact directly with the code and are automatically synced as your changes are made. So again, this is super cool. Now, another thing too that's pretty dope about this is the fact that it verifies and updates your docs automatically. Documentation is kept up to date using patent AI that makes recommendations as part of the developer and CI CD workflow. So pretty much as you're doing changes and you're pushing changes to your repo, right? It's going to give you warnings or give you heads up like, Hey, this changed over here. You want to change this documentation, right? Or sometimes it's going to do it automatically. So again, this is actually pretty cool because again, if you ever worked on a team, you know that guess what? When somebody goes in and does some changes on a random component that no one even knew existed, no one takes their time to go and actually write a documentation about it, right? Or to keep it up to date to say, hey, this is what happened here. This changed, right? Maybe this property is changed over here, or maybe, hey, the whole code base is completely different. Now with Swim.io, it's going to basically give you the heads up and update the documentation itself, okay? So again, there's a lot of cool things that Swim.io brings to the table for teams just to make our lives easier. Now again, guys, if you guys wanna try this out, check the link in the description of this video, right? Um, you guys can go in, sign up, and pretty much try this platform out. I would definitely say try it out, especially for your own personal projects to get started. And as you continue learning more about how to use this uh, service, you can pretty much bring it to your team and you know let your senior developer know or maybe your project manager or somebody that might have some type of influence in the company and say, hey, this is actually a pretty cool service that we can use and we actually need, okay? So again, guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you like the exposure that I brought to you guys as far as like, you know, using documentation, right? And how important it is, right? Especially using a service like this, which makes our lives easier as developers.